Hi everyone and welcome to the Massman YouTube channel. In this video today I'm going to be walking you through how to calculate the greatest common factor. The video is going to start with a brief recap on what a factor is. Then I will be showing you how to calculate the greatest common factor and at the end of the video we'll be talking about why this is a useful skill to have and what types of questions you might need to use it. And right at the end of the video, you'll want to stick around because I'm going to show you an activity that you can uh, you can do at home to see just how much you've learned from this video. And you'll be able to test yourself against the math man and everyone else who's been watching completely for free. But before we get started, if you are new to the channel and you are looking for free weekly maths videos from a UK qualified primary school teacher, then do consider subscribing to the Mathsman YouTube channel. It's completely for free and I release vi new videos every single week. So just what is a factor? Factors and multiples are sometimes confused. So this is just a quick recap on what a factor is. So as you can see here, we have 12, 12 and 12. And all of these numbers here are factors of 12. So these are numbers that can be multiplied to make 12. So 3 can be multiplied 4 times to make 12. So factors are always lower than the number that they are going into. So if you want to calculate the greatest common factor between two numbers, like I have here, I have the number 24 and the number 18. The first thing, the first skill that you need is you even need to know all of your times tables or you need to have a multiplication grid next to you. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the number 24 and I'm going to think 24 is in the one times table. 24 is in the two times table. 24 is in the three times table. It's in the four times table. It's in the six times table. It's in the eight times table. It's in the 12 times table. And finally, it's in the 24 times table. So the 24 is in a lot of times tables. Now, all of these numbers that are coming off the side, they're all factors, just regular factors. Then I'm going to go ho over to the number 18. So 18 is in the 1 times table, it's in the 2 times table, it's in the 3 times table, it's in the 6 times table, it's in the 9 times table, it's in the 18 times table. So there I have all of the factors of 18 and all of the factors of 24. Now, if I'm finding the greatest common factor, then I need to find I need to find the largest because it says the greatest and common. So that means numbers that are in both lists. So I'm going to first highlight the numbers that are in both lists. So one and one, two and two, three and three, six and six. And that is it. Okay. And the greatest number, so the largest number, is 6. So the greatest common factor between 24 and 18 is 6. Now, this is why knowing how to calculate the greatest common factor is a very useful skill. Here I have a fraction 18 thirtieths and what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this fraction um, to simpler terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same as what I did on the previous slide. I'm going to write down 18. I'm going to write down 30 and I'm going to find all the factors. So 18 is in the one times table, the two times table, it's in the three times table, it's in the 6 times table, it's in the 9 times table, it's in the 18 times table. 
Then I'm going to do it for 30. 30 is in the 1 times table. The 2, the 3. It's in the 6. It's in the 5. It's in the 10. It's in the 15. It's in the 30. And I think I've got them all. So I'm going to highlight all of the common factors. 1 and 1. 2 and 2. 3 and 3. 6 and 6. And then there are no other common factors. So again, our greatest common factor is 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this number by 6, the numerator, and I'm going to divide the denominator by 6 as well. And that gives me, so 18 divided by 6 equals 3. And 30 divided by 6 equals 5. So I've just simplified 18 thirtieths to 3 fifths by using my knowledge of the greatest common factor. So if you think you've understood everything that I've just taught you, then why don't you test yourself by going, going to joinmyquiz.com, entering the code there, or you can just click on the link in the description below. It will take you straight to it. Enter any name you want um, and then answer the 10 questions and see how far up the leaderboard you get. And then once you've finished the 10 questions, why don't you come back to the comment section, tell us how many you got out of 10 correct and where that put you on the leaderboard and see if you can beat the maths man.